things been moving slowly so we already in too deep can't get no sleep on each other carry teasing all day and when the sun sets you asking me to come to kick it with you
Hey, 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 everybody. It is Tea Talk with your girl. How y'all doing out there? How y'all doing out there? Listen, happy Gardening Sunday. Yes, it is that time again to talk about growing some food. All right. Mic check one, two. Mic check one, two. Let me know you can hear me. Let me know you can hear me. I can still hear daddy's music. Ooh, All right, that's better. All right, all right. Thank you, ladies. Thank you so much. Alyssa Triplett, Diamond Deep, Honeybee, Flower Bloom. I see y'all. I see y'all. All right, so good morning to my wonderful lady mods, okay? I see Diamond Diva Honey Bee, y'all know Mahogany Meeks, Peaches and Cream, P and 2 Rosh, Taisha J, Swamp Talk with Louisiana Chick, and the lovely Linda Gamble, who is the hardest working mod I know. Okay, leave it. What are you doing? Leave it. I forgot I even bought that. My dog is all over there on my purse. I'm like, what is going on? But I bought a sandwich this morning and I didn't eat it. And you know what's in there, don't you? Get back. So good morning, Rose Armstead. How are you? I see Diamond Diva Honeybee and Mahogany Mix, part of the Lady Mods. Good morning, ladies. Good morning. Regina Phillips, T Talk member. I got your information. Thank you so much. CDW, good morning. Good morning. How are you? Doing okay, lady sweetens to you. Tea talk member, good morning. Good morning, flower bloom. Good morning, Pamela Johnson. Good morning. How are you? Katora, tea talk member, good morning. Sharon Addison is in the house. Uh, that's my good friend, y'all. And she was well, my best friend. She also gardens as well, and she has a beautiful garden, and she does a really great job with her plants inside the house, too, by the way. So she just has a green thumb all the way around, okay? <clears throat> I'm glad she's here this morning. I might can ask her some questions. Ruthie Lewis, good morning to you. Good morning. <clears throat> T and T's G Mom, T Talk member, good morning. The Network Specialist, Laverne 63, good morning. How are you? God's grace is in the chat and everything is going to be all right. Good morning to you, all right? I see one crafty sister is in the house and uh, they garden as well. So thank you for being here this morning and happy gardening Sunday to you as well. Good morning, Kathy Hudson. How are you? Juan Davis. Good morning. Thank you for being here. Alyssa Triplett, Tea Talk member. Thank you for being here. Pamela Johnson. Good morning. Thank you for being here. Alicia, Tea Talk member, good morning, good morning. Designs and Decor is in the house. Good morning to you. Designs and Decor is also a content creator. And hey to you, you're planting seeds as well. Let's do this. Yes, let's do this, okay? Alf Mack, good morning to you, Tea Talk member. Thank you for being here. Rebecca Burks, good morning. Thank you for being here, Tea Talk member. And girl, what's that? Good morning. How are you? Uh, Mahogany Meek says, banner, banner, banner. Uh-oh, we got kicking it with Courtney in the house. Yes, good morning. Good morning to you. I'm glad to see you here this morning. Good morning, Sharon Reed. Thank you for being here as well, okay? Thank you for being here as well. Yes, of course, of course. That's what we're supposed to do. Kicking it with Courtney is also a content creator as well. As a beautiful young lady, she's all that. Okay. Okay. Yes, she is all that. So, y'all, what's going on? Is everybody all right this morning? Y'all ready to do a little bit of gardening? Um, good morning, Taisha J, T Talk member and mod. How are you this morning? 
not like I haven't talked to you already, but uh, how are you doing anyway? All right, y'all. So we're going to just do some trending topics this morning while we uh, garden, you know, y'all know how we do. But first, we're going to do a little bit of um, gardening. Okay, rabbits running. Good morning. Good morning. Oh, thank you, Courtney. Girl, we was all looking good. I know Melody was like, look at my Melometers chat. I know she was looking out there. This is proud. Courtney, I know she was like, look at them ladies. They know how to come through, honey. She was sitting there like, well, let, let me tell you something. If these photos and videos go around town, I don't got to worry about the people uh, 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 showing it and saying, first of all, that the room is empty because the house was full, right? Ain't got to worry about the people talking about the Melamita's outfits because they all came through. They they all knew the assignment and they came through the door. They could have played that song for us all. When I walked through, mm, mm, mm. yeah, we came through, all of us. So I was so glad to see all of y'all representing Black excellence, okay? Black excellence. I met some really beautiful women um, who I know that now I will have lasting, you know, relationships with some friendships with so it's it was it was bomb it was everything it was everyone literally showed up and showed out yes they did they did i got some new gloves y'all and i ain't had to cut the thing off i've been cutting the thing off on my gloves but i ain't had to cut that one off on this one but i probably still should cut it off since i be it holds water so i'll mess my darn computer up but at any rate, y'all, this morning, let's check on these potatoes that have been in the bag quite a while now. And they still not doing what I wanted them to do. They they got a little bit of eyes on them. Let me turn this light on. So y'all can see it a little better. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I hope that gives us a little more light. I think so, Jazzy. And I look a mess because I'm gardening. So this is this is all it has eyed since we bought them. Y'all saw the ones I bought from the nursery had eyes everywhere. I just want these eyes down here to come out some before I plant these. I don't know why they take so long. They be in a dead or dark place inside the paper bag and they still not sprouting on both sides see and remember the ones i showed y'all before had the sprouts everywhere i probably could still plant these and they probably would still work but i just would like to see these eyes come out on the other side before i cut these so i'm gonna put these back in the dark and we'll check them every sunday until i feel like they are ready to go okay that's the russet potatoes by the way Oh boy, but look at these, y'all. These is ready. So we will plant these today. See, they are all around everywhere. The eyes are coming out. And these are the red potatoes. See that? They ready. So we can cut these up today. See, look. These is definitely ready. Now, this we haven't seen these since the last Sunday that we went. Um, because I just wait. Look at these, they ready. I have to put them in. So, you getting up earlier next weekend? <laughs> All right, so we're gonna plant these red potatoes, these red russets. I'm gonna show y'all how to germinate seeds for those who um have never uh germinated seeds, okay. I'm going to show y'all how to do that. And it's real uh, it's real easy. Okay. So basically, you just need your seeds. And today, I'm going to germinate some um, pickling cucumbers because they didn't, the last ones I let stay in too long, if I'm being honest, and they dried out. So I'm going to do these pickling cucumbers. And I want to do my watermelon, my crimson sweet watermelon. 
I think I, my Congo watermelon and my sugar baby watermelons. So that's what I'm going to germinate today. But also today, Sharon Addison, if you're still in here, okay, this morning I got my little self up. And I went to my uh, Lowe's. I didn't go to my local nursery because they were not open yet. But I went to Lowe's. So let me show y'all what I got from Lowe's. I got some collards. So this is going to be my first year doing collards. So I got some collard greens from there, from Lowe's. Okay. And I got some peppers. These are going to be green peppers. And then some more green peppers. And I got some red peppers. And I got a, this is a tomato uh, plant. And this is a Better Boy, the heirloom tomato. Because this year I'm only going to do like uh, four tomatoes. Last year I had like eight. That was way too much. That was steroids. That was on steroids. I didn't need to do that. But I didn't know no better, y'all. I was new to the game. So this year I'm only doing four tomatoes. So these are the things I went up and got this morning. And we'll continue to watch those grow. But these are the things that we planted the first Sunday that we started, which was two weeks ago, I'm sure. So these are the stream beans. Look how tall they gotten. These are the stream beans and the spaghetti squash. Now, some of the spaghetti squash you see is taller than the other ones. These two on this side are very tall, and these two are kind of not so tall. But everything is growing pretty nicely, okay? And those are the things that we started. They all need to be watered today, too, as well. Now, these are the cucumbers that we planted like a week later. So they're coming in as well. The cucumbers and the other squash. That's the summer squash right there. So that stuff is coming in nicely as well. Okay. And you guys will get to follow me as I when I take them outside. I'll take them outside on the live and plant them. Okay. And all that stuff is the stuff that we bought the um Last week, not last week, but two weeks ago, and it's all starting to come up really nice. So that's why I wanted to find the swimming pool because I want to put them in bigger spaces so that they can grow better until we can go outside. Because we can't go outside until um, May, well, Mother's Day. That's when you can plant in Maryland, is on Mother's Day. So we'll be going out there on Mother's Day, me and the children. And my grandchildren, of course. Yes, each one teach one. That's it. Sit. Sit. That's what it is. We got to teach each other, help each other. That's what life is all about. You can definitely have a watermelon. Okay, your Dollar General sells them. We do have a Dollar General not far from here. I'm going to go see if I see one today, actually. Okay. I'm going to go today, but let's go into germinating some seeds for those who don't know how to do it, but want to start um, planting. And I also saw a lady today on um, YouTube. I think I saved her stuff. I hope I saved her stuff. Oh my gosh. I hope I subscribe too. But this young lady, black, beautiful queen is growing her food on her patio, her um, deck. She doesn't have any grass in her backyard at all. And she has over pounds of food that she grows every year. So I don't want you to feel like if you don't have a yard, you still can't grow. If you have sun, okay, and a little bit of space, we can still help you grow food too, all right? You can learn to, to grow your food to go straight up so that it doesn't have to go out. That's what she's doing. All her stuff is going vertically and she has still she still has space. So you can learn how to do all that. You just have to get... The stuff that, because some of the, like, um, <clears throat> yeah, you don't need a lot of space, Courtney. You don't. You need sun, though. You do need sun. 
okay? And as long as you get in sun for six hours a day, five to six hours in one spot, you can put your stuff out there and you can put it in containers. Like this year, I'm going to show y'all when I start to do it. I can't do it um, until I have help. So I have to get my son over here or even my husband. And I'm going to, there was a spot. I wonder if I could take y'all out there on my other phone real quick. On my phone. Let me see if I connect. It's going to make a whole bunch of noise. Y'all give me a second. I'm going to show y'all. I always forget that this thing is not a camera that I can turn until I get to where I want to go. And then I realize that I can't turn the camera how I want to turn it. Can y'all hear me? Let me. Uh oh, it went out. Can y'all hear me? Holla back if you can hear me. Okay, y'all can hear me. All right, so I got to try to work it like this. So that's the garden right there. That patch of stuff right there. And if you can see, there's some sticks in the ground. And I was going to open it up more with a rotel. Well, my husband was supposed to open it up. And something happened. They didn't. It keep raining, raining, raining. So I've already decided that this patch right here, I'm going to put the cut the grass down as low as it can go and then I'm going to put the black stuff over it and I'm going to use this side to put my pallets on you know how I wanted to get those pallets so this side is going to be a container uh station so this will be just containers and then the other that's where all the other stuff will be planted at inside there it looks way bigger than it is though it looks small here but if you see that stick right there that's where I'm going to start and then that'll just be containers and stuff so that's what that is. That's what I was trying to say. So you don't need to have, you don't have to put it in the ground is what I'm saying, Courtney. You can always just find a spot and get you some containers and work like that. I'm turning this off because when I go back in here, it's going to make all this noise. Come on. Come on. Come on. All right, so I was just trying to show you the how you don't you don't have to have no garden till you don't have to do any of that. You can use containers. I have several containers up there that I will use that space over there just to put containers. I should have showed you my little um my other garden where the watermelon is going to go. I I decided this year that my watermelon, if you ever want to grow watermelon, you need to know you need space for watermelon. Okay, watermelon is very very viney. And it can take over everything in the garden. That's also what I was about to say about like if you wanted to grow cucumbers. Cucumbers can grow straight up. Any So what I do with my cucumbers, I put a tomato cage around my cucumbers. And those cucumbers grow right up that tomato cage. And that way they stay in, in their space. Otherwise, cucumbers are very viney. String beans are very viney. So if you're going to do string beans, have something, a pole, a trestle, a small trestle, have something that they can grow up because they, they can be very viney too. What else is viney that you have to worry about? 
Spaghetti squash is viney. So is butternut squash. They vines, but the summer squash and the zucchini grow out like a plant. So you can put those in a container and set those anywhere. What else would be good for a container? But the other stuff, if you're going to grow in a container, you have to make sure you have something that can grow up because otherwise it's going to be trying to come out and go everywhere. Got some seeds to sprout so we can plant. Yes. Uh, how do you keep caterpillars? There's a, uh, oh, I was supposed to show y'all that this morning too. Is that right there? Let me see what my seven dust is. Hold on. Let me find that dust. I'm, I'm going to show you how I put it on. It's called seven dust. Hold on. This is the seven. It can be found at Walmart, Lowe's, probably CVS and stuff like that too, your local nurseries. It kills over 150 insects, okay? Um, you can put it on vegetables, fruits, ornamentals, and lawns. It protects edibles from insect damage. It starts killing them immediately. So... <clears throat> then they got all these little words that I cannot read and I'm not going to lie to you and tell you that I can but I know it's supposed to so you just take the seven out in your garden can y'all see me? I hope so and you just sprinkle it on top of the stuff like so like that I'm not tapping the brown I don't know why I say that sometimes Um, but there you go And that's what you do. You take it out in your garden and you just put it on there. And the animals come. If they eat it, they won't be eating it too long because it'll take them out. Okay? So get you some seven for your stuff. And that's one way to protect your stuff. Good morning, Lisi W. Yes, I use it on the back porch and garage. Yes. So see, PN2 Ross uses, uses it as, as well. Wow uses it what is wrong with my tongue oh you're welcome yep and so let's um start with these pickling cucumbers now to germinate my seeds i, I just need three things i well four things i need my seeds right i need my water Paper towel or napkin, whichever one you choose to use. This is a paper towel. I don't know why it looks like this, though. It's defective. I never noticed it was defective. But at any rate, you need that's what you need. Those four things. The plastic baggies. I got the right size today. Hey, somebody's winning. Look at that. And, oh, well, you should have some type of way to know what you put in the bag. So you can either write it on the bag if you have the right type of marker and it will stay on the bag. You can write it on the bag or you could be like myself and I get these little things from the dollar store. And you also going to have to do that when you put your food in a container, unless you just plant in a small bit of food, you have to label your food. Um, Girl, what's that? Did a great job labeling her food. We saw her food last week. Great job. Everything was labeled. She had small, she had looked like the toothpick labels, I think they sell. They just, you know, you write up the side, but I just found these. These was the ones available in my dollar store. It's like 10, they come in a pack. I got my little Sharpie pen, and that's what I use to label my stuff. Okay. Now, this 
ain't the right Sharpie pen. Because it ain't uh, doing like it's supposed to. Now, where's my black one at? A real Sharpie pen. See, this is kind of not doing what it's supposed to be doing. It's not giving what I want it to give, but I'll get my other one later. All right? And so then what I'm going to do is I'm going to wet my paper towel. So I'm just going to spray it, get it a little soaked, not too much. Take some of my cucumber and put them on here. I don't know if y'all can see. So now I got my cucumber seeds on here. Then I close it up. Let me put a little more water on this one. I put it right on in this little baggie. And by the time next Sunday come, when I open this back up, we'll be putting it in some dirt. And then we'll plant them together and watch them grow together. So these are the pickling cucumbers. These are the cucumbers that I use to make the pickles. I showed y'all my pickles. You close the bag up. Well, you should put your thing in there, but this ain't really working. So I'm going to get a different kind of label. All right. So those are the cucumbers. Damn. Now I got my Congo watermelon. Jazzy, did you take my black marker? Or did daddy take it? Somebody did. Because I don't see it in here. In my baby. Oh, there it goes. Okay. All right, y'all. Now we're talking. Because that other one was not working. All right, so Congo watermelon. You always want to label your food so you know what it is. You don't want your stuff to start growing and you be trying to figure out, what is that? I don't remember what that is. All right? So label, label, label your food. Just sweat it up. Label your food. Make sure you label your food. All right? We get our seeds, Congo watermelon. I owe somebody some watermelon. All right. Okay. Now I'm a little. When I plant my seeds, I always put two. I don't know what everybody else do. You might not need to, but I just want to make sure I'm going to yield something back. So I always put two seeds in every pot. You can probably tell when you look at my streaming. No, because three uh, things came out, but I only put two seeds in there. But you can see it on the uh, cu cucumber. No, that's the squash. See why you got to label your food? Right? It's easier to put these things in when you don't got gloves on. I don't know why I got these gloves on because this ain't really that dirty, but I think I was playing in dirt. All right. And that's all you do. Now, next week, by the time we get to this bag, they should have uh, roots coming out of them. And then when you plant them, the next week, you probably have a, uh, a plant. We'll probably have a plant coming out. All right. Save your popsicle sticks. You can use them. That's a good one. Can you make pickles with regular cucumbers? I would think you could, but I think people just, just use the other, the pickling ones because you're supposed to get them before they turn yellow and they're very crispy. And so they make for stronger, probably pickles, I think. The, the texture is totally different. You can feel the, the difference in the pickling and the other cucumbers. You can feel the difference. So I think that's why they use those. Leave it. I think that's why they use those. Gonna start germinating my seeds today. Okay, great. And then next week, we can you can definitely send me a picture of your germination and show everybody what it looks like, what yours came out like. And y'all remember, seeds matter. 
I want y'all to remember that seeds matter. Don't just get no seeds from the dollar store because you see seeds at the dollar store, okay? Don't do that. Get Go to a nursery or somewhere else because I think the dollar store be getting like the seeds from places at the end of the season and I don't know. They don't be good. I didn't have good luck with those. I didn't have good luck with it. I, I didn't have good luck with those at all. Yeah. So be careful with that, okay? Well, it is Sunday, y'all. Let's run over to Melody Story since we in here and see what she got going on today. Okay. Since we here together, we should all check on the Miss Melody Cherie. Just like just for a little break, and then we'll get right back to it. Okay, opening day for Tank today, y'all. Opening day for Tank because he really plays baseball. Yeah, don't need a poop flag on the play either. Yep. God said go. Still on sale. Melometers versus everybody. Still on sale. 30% off. Okay. God said go is the code. 30% off. Okay. Oh, yes. You see, that's a testimonial. She got the sponges back in stock. I like those sponges. I still got two new ones, though. She always going to come through with that great advertising. Look at that. Yes, honey. <laughs> I'm moving out of my gray. Let me see what, uh-oh. Oh, okay, this is the Cash App winners. So she says, I'm moving the gray out of my life by fasting now so I can detox and release the gray confusion and rebuild with black and white. All right, then. Let's read this one because I didn't realize what they was. Okay, this is Candace Patrice, and she won too. Says, I'm moving out of my gray area by holding myself 100% accountable for how much I owe it to me and my children to change the trajectory of our lives. This on me. I've already started healing mentally by focusing spiritually. Next is financial stability at Melody Sheree. Girl, you better speak. All right. So I was making sure I ain't missed none. Okay. Next one is to I am Missy Pine says I'm in my isolation season, which has forced me to look at me and the woman I desire to be. According to my environment, I'm supposed to be one thing, but baby, I am not allowing myself to show up in a world with the specks of gray. I know with me showing up for myself and holding myself accountable is the key. The way I show up for me is the only way I will allow others to show up to. Woo, you better speak. On another note, Thank you for being who you are and being a woman that others can look up to young and old. Girl, you did a whole sermon. Child, you, you definitely needed to get that 250, okay? All right, next one is Christian D. Nancy. She says, I'm eliminating the gray out of my life by seeing myself through the lenses through which God views me. Therefore, understanding my worth. Once I understand my worth, I have zero tolerance for anyone or anything that's fake and phony and does not add value to my life. I remove the baggage that has been keeping me in the gray and catapult forward in peace by keeping my mind stayed on God and purpose. Now, that was good, too. 
they all good actually but that one just kind of whoo mm. i hate that it took me to 70 years of age to say this but i'm moving gray out of my life by cutting everything that has pulled down attached to it it doesn't matter who it is i'm finally realizing that I am not the savior people in my life need. Mm. Ooh, that one kind of hit me too. She picked some good ones, I tell you that, okay? Okay, Mel, those tights are everything. I wore mine yesterday, hurry up and restock. <laughs> okay, wait a minute, Mel, that one went too fast now, girl. Okay, tennis match. Wait a minute, let me take this damn glove off because it's making me slow. Tennis match Sunday, watching the games, okay? This lady done went from baseball to tennis with them babies, okay? 7th Avenue pr premiere. I don't leave home without it. Yes, yes, yes. That's right. Yes, yes, yes. Y'all, weren't those testimonies great? Didn't y'all think so? Get, get that gray out of your area. Get it out. Let it go. Okay? Let it go. Get it out of your life. Okay? So those were some great testimonies, and I feel like those people deserve to win that money, too, because they did write some good testimonies. Now, y'all, this is one thing that I've never germinated. Why? Because the seeds are so small. But today, I'm going to try it anyway. Because I want my damn carrots to grow in this year. I, last year, all I got back was the the plant, which is really pretty. I love the um, the potato plant. I can't wait till y'all see it. I think the potato plant is so pretty, and so is the carrot uh, plant. Very pretty. But I haven't had luck with getting no carrots back. Name, remember, I'm new at this, but. Um, Yes, those were very inspiring, inspiring testimonies, okay? Okay. Pan to Ross said, I'll post it on my page. I had two of my friends ask me about the oil and the primer, and they're going to purchase it. Yeah, yeah. Your curse was short and fat. <laughs> At least you got curds. I think I... I think if I'm being honest, I think I planted my curds too late in the season. I think that's what happened. So now I'm planting them early and I'm going to grow my plants in, can y'all see? What can y'all see back there? Oh, you can't see it, I don't think. I got a big hundred gallon drum. See that right there? That's what I'm gonna grow my curds in, I think. I think. I might put them in a bag. I don't know. Because I have a lot of grow bags. So, I might put them in a bag. I think it's because I use a garden bed and they probably need the ground. I ain't putting mine in the ground. I put some in the ground and I didn't even get a a, a plant back. But again, those were dollar source, dollar store seeds that I used out in my garden. And I didn't get not one, not even a plant. And then at the last minute, I was like, all right, I'm going to try it in this in the 100 gallon tub. And that's what I did. Um, and I didn't get not, nothing back. But I think it was too late in the season. So I'm going to try it. I'm going to try germinating them. I'm going to see do they germinate. And if they do, then I'll just. Put them in the thing, and if they don't, then hey, I tried it, right? Because I keep going to the nurseries to look for the, um, I'm going to the nurseries looking for the um, carrots because last year I missed them. They only get them for a short time. So when I get off of here, I'm going to run back to the nursery because the nursery doesn't open until 10. And I'm going to see if the nursery has the carrots and if the nursery has the carrots then i will buy some already coming up you know and then put them in the the big um thing or in the bag whichever one i got a lot of bags so i really should use them 
And then again, these are these. Oh, I want y'all to see how small these uh, carrot seeds are. Can y'all see how small they are? See how small those carrot seeds are? They little bitty itty things, right? We'll see what happens next week. See if they come back up. Does the garden bag close securely? I would hate to open with a surprise in it. Uh, what garden bag? You talking about the... What kind of surprise? What are you talking about? Uh, P and 2? What are you talking about, girl? What kind of surprise? <laughs> girl, don't tell me nothing like that. What you talking about? A rabbit? I hope you talking about a rabbit, P and 2. I hope you talking about a rabbit. Don't you say nothing else because you'll have me... No, that go rabbit right there in my yard, too. I ain't even kidding. He running around my containers right now, just hopping around. I got rabbits galore out here. Jazzy be trying to chase a rabbit every day. I'm trying to see if I see another one. Because any given day, I can look outside and see four to six rabbits. So I'm bold to try to put a garden in my yard, right? I told y'all last year that the... Rabbits ate my um cabbage. Ate my cabbage. Each one. Ate half of each one. Didn't just eat one whole cabbage. They went, I accidentally left the garden open, so it really was my fault. A half of each cabbage. And I'm like, why didn't you just eat one whole cabbage? Why did you go? Maybe it was two rabbits. I don't know. But they ate half, each one ate half of my uh damn cabbage so i didn't get to eat it myself but this year i played it smarter i got way more um cabbage last year only got two i didn't know so this year i think it was karma girl last year i want to say it was you okay so who sent me the picture of their garden last year with the cabbage in a row all the food in a row so this year i'm using this too let me grab this thing real quick Daddy, you coming back out here with me? I'm standing here with Daddy. So this year, when I tell you, y'all I'm putting a weed barrier down, right? This serves, this has two purposes, actually. So it's the weed barrier, right? Because it's going to, I'm going to be able to lay it down and it's going to make sure that that grass or so no type of weeds come back up. Last year, I had a problem with them weeds because they was coming up just as fast as my food was coming up. And I wasn't sure what to cut back, what not to cut back. And this year, you know, being a new gardener, I don't want that. I don't want to have to second guess myself when I go outside. When I go out there to snip back my stuff, I want to know exactly what I'm snipping back. Because some food, you do need to cut the leaves. Like watermelon, for instance. They say you should cut some of the leaves. When the leaves get too big on the watermelon, you should cut them back because that leaf is taking the nutrients from the actual watermelon itself. Also, if you're growing a watermelon, if you have one uh, vine and you have three or four watermelons you see coming up, cut two of them off. I know that probably sounds crazy, right? But that will stunt the growth of the watermelons if the nutrient, if they can't pull the proper nutrients. So I just listen to the people that are doing a great job with their gardens, and that's the tips that I will give y'all. But anyway, this stuff is a weed barrier. But also, you see this green line on here? This green line right here? So when I lay this black stuff down, this weed barrier, it's going to give me perfect lines for my food. So when I look at that rabbit, he just a running. I wonder if I can put, if y'all can see his little ass. Y'all see him hopping? No, it don't go over there. He just running through the yard. I put Jazzy out there. His ass will be gone. 
Yeah, I have rabbits. I have lots of rabbits. No, um, Diamond Diva Honeybee, you don't have to germinate your seeds. I germinate my seeds because I want them to already have a root before I put them in the dirt. That's why I do it. But you de leave it. You definitely don't have to do it. Leave it. You definitely don't have to do it. I just do it because I want my stuff to already um, germinate. I mean, you know, have a root. All right, y'all. So I'm going to be on here for 10 more minutes. So we do an hour. Um, but I'm going to drop the link in case anybody have a question or anybody wants to come up to ask anything. You saw the rabbit? Yes. He out there. His little ass is out there. Oh, there he go right there. You see him? He right behind me now. Or she, whatever it is. It was just right there. Yeah. We keep, we keep a rabbit. We keep the rabbits over here. The rabbits, the chipmunk. Um, yes, the weed barrier is so helpful, one crafty sister. I can't wait. I can't wait to show y'all how I'm uh what I'm gonna be doing to this um that little squirrel right there. They stay in my yard, child. Um, but they stay in our yards because they run across the fence and they just everywhere. What you gonna do? Hey, it's Tay T. Good morning. How are you? So, yeah, so this is this is what I'm going to be using to keep those weeds out so I know what I'm growing, so I know what's coming up. I know what I'm doing. And and with this stuff, you just cut your hole where you're going to put your food down in there. You cut the hole, and then it'll just grow out the thing. And you have minimal weeds in your garden. So I don't like weeds. I don't know about y'all. Plus, I wanted to see. Last year, I was nervous about going in there because I don't know. If something in there, like P and 2 Ross was saying, I want to see it. Let me see it. I want to know what I'm walking into. <laughs> he probably would like to. He probably would definitely like to go out there and crack something open. Yeah. But, oh, look, I got a red a red robin out there, too. Yeah, it's a lot of stuff in the yard. But what can you do? I'm just going to enclose the garden like I did last year. I'm going to close that garden off so the rabbits can't get in there. And that's it. Now, the squirrels, I don't know about them squirrels, because them squirrels be, I have to think about it. I might have to cover the garden up again. Last year, I covered the whole thing. Birds couldn't get in there. Nothing could get in there, because I had used that deer netting, and I just built the whole encasement over the whole thing. I could walk in there. It was tall enough over my head, and nothing could get in there. But I don't know if I want to do all that this year. I don't know if I want to do that this year. You want to try to grow some herbs? I want to cook with fresh herbs. You definitely can do that. You know, I saw this one lady who had a a, a thing inside of her um, kitchen on the wall where she was um, growing her herbs at. Uh, P and Two Ross said, "Let them have fun. Don't nobody bother them things, child." Mm-hmm. Diamond Diva Honeybee said, thank you for the support of the channel by activating the like button. All right. Activate that like button. But yeah, so that's my gardening tips for today. Germinating your seeds. I am going to be planting some um, potatoes and onions. Did I show y'all the onions already? I got to plant these bulbs. They like should have been planted already, but these are the onion bulbs. This is how they go in. And we'll see how they do. Last year, I had no luck with onions, but this is not the ones that I used to plant. But I didn't have any luck with my onions. But I didn't plant this type. So we'll see what happens. But these have to be planted today. They actually should have already been planted. Squirrels are a mess. They ate all the stuffing from our patio furniture. Yep. They are a mess. They are a mess. Herbs can be done in a pot. My friend had an herb garden with pots. I'm going to grow mint. Yep. Uh-huh. That's what they say. Let me let me read. What do cinnamon sticks do in the garden? Oh, I could do it on here instead of doing it on my phone where y'all can't see it. Hold on. Let me see. Do cinnamon. Cinnamon sticks help with my garden. I 
right, let's go. All right, I found a little article. Let's read this article and see what we're talking about. You already planted your onions and potatoes? Yeah, I should have already planted mine too, but they will be planted by the end of the day, all of them. I think I'm going to even use these potatoes that I got. Okay, so here we go. Um, use cinnamon to deter rabbits, squirrels, chipmunks, and mice. It doesn't mention cats. You can heal the plants with the cinnamon. So let's go to the top of this because I guess it gave me just what I was looking for first. Okay, how to use cinnamon, cinnamon in gardens and flower beds to help your plants and your soil, okay? It says it helps your plants and your soils. Did you know that cinnamon can help keep the soil and plants and your flower beds and vegetable gardens healthy? Not only that, but this all-natural culinary ingredient can also help drive pest and disease away as well. Cinnamon has long been known to provide a wide array of benefits to humans as both an anti-inflammatory and antibacterial agent. Consuming this delicious spice can help the human body in a variety of ways. But many of the same positive qualities in cinnamon that aid humans can also help your plants to a healthier life. And that is exactly the focus of today's article. Okay, so let me see. Six great ways to use cinnamons in gardens. One, you use cinnamon to heal the plant cuts. Okay, cinnamon's antibacterial and antifungal properties. Make it wonderful for using as a wound sealant for plants. I had no idea. Using cinnamon to deter rabbits, squirrels, and chipmunks. When it comes to protecting potted plants and containers from rabbits, squirrels, and more, cinnamon is an excellent solution. Okay? Squirrels do not like the smell or taste of cinnamon. By sprinkling ground cinnamon around plants, pots, and containers, it can help to keep these pests far away. Some bird lovers even put a bit of cinnamon around their bird feeders to help keep the squirrels away. The scent of cinnamon is offensive to a long list of animals. By strategically sprinkling cinnamon around the edge of containers and baskets, most pests will simply leave it alone and move on. Even with its strong smell, cinnamon will not cause any harm to your plants, okay? So it doesn't mention cats, but it does mention them pesky little squirrels. I wonder what the rabbits feel about the cinnamon. Oh, it say rabbits. Oh, yeah. Okay, so I should be good. So I don't know about the cats, though. Somebody said something else for the cats, I thought. I thought it was peppercorn. I thought it was peppercorn that they said for them cats. Let me see. I could have sworn it was peppercorn. Yeah, I think it's peppercorn. The strong smell of the pepper may irritate the nose, eyes, or lid, lead to drooling and vomit if licked or ingested. And although it may not be permanent harm, it's not a humane deterrent since it's not recommended Oh, to use black pepper to keep cats out of the yard. We'll give you a few safe alternatives. So the, the, the they saying that the pepper may work, but it may, black pepper is not a good or ethical option for repelling outdoor cats and finding an alternative to keep them away from your yard is more suitable. The strong smell of pepper may irritate their nose and eyes or lead to drooling and vomit if licked or ingested. And although it may not do permanent harm, it's just not good, I guess. Since it's recommended 
to use black pepper to keep cats out of your yard will give you a few safe alternatives. Uh, there are many alternatives that you can use instead of black pepper to keep them from your yard, okay? So one is fencing, uh, whatever. Uh, commercial repellents. There are many commercial cat repellents. So they saying go to the store and buy you something uh, or use a water sprinkler or you can do some rosemary, but it's it's not and it's not toxic, but they hate the smell of it. OK, so they saying you could put some rosemary. Around your garden. So I had planted mint in my garden the last time. Um, and it was supposed to deter. The chipmunks, I think they told me. So you could use that herb to um, put around your garden, the rosemary, right? To keep them away, the cats, the rosemary and the lavender. Bath bombs and common sprays. Lavender is used and also effective for keeping cats out of your yard. So yeah, so you can use lavender or rosemary. They don't like it, the cats. Child, I'm going to put all that around the base of my garden. You hear me? I'm going to have cinnamon sticks, pepper. If you get sick, you should have stayed out the yard. Sorry. I don't know what else to tell you. But I make sure Jazzy don't get it because I'm going to put it on the inside of the garden and she's not allowed to go in there no way. Um, so we should care about harming their eyes and nose, but we should let them eat our food. <laughs> Wait a minute, because P and two rods right above you said, <laughs> I hate cats and I would use that pepper. <laughs> Y'all terrible. Oh, thank you, Nicola. <laughs> yes. So that's the way to keep the, you can get the cinnamon sticks, which I told y'all I'm going to go back out. So I'm going to go to the dollar store. I'm going to give me some cinnamon sticks. I'm going to give me some peppercorn, okay? And I'm, I'm going to just buy it, like, on a weekly basis just to have a lot of it here. Just pour it into a container and just go out there and treat my yard. But I'm going to get it from the dollar store. I'm not going to be going to no damn uh, grocery store trying to spend a whole bunch of money. But I am going to go up there and get them cinnamon sticks, and, and I'm going to treat that garden every Sunday. And I'm going to buy a big old burrow and just keep pouring it in there. Yeah. Mint and lavender for bugs. That was, I did, I, I definitely had that mint in my yard last year. I had put it in containers and had it growing in the yard. LA girl says she using it too. She don't care. She using it too. Sorry, don't come in the yard if you don't want to get sick. That's the only thing I can tell you. But that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to go and I'm going to get me little containers from the dollar store. And I'm going to just buy like maybe 10 of each and fill that container up and then just keep on buying it so I can have it the whole summer. Get it from the dollar store. It's much cheaper. Don't, be, don't spend no money. We trying to save money. That's why we're growing our own food, right? That's why we're growing our own food, so we can save money. Okay? So save, save, save on things that you can, but that's not the... You can't get them seeds, though, from the dollar store. Don't do that. Don't do that. Now, this is my favorite watermelon right here, the sugar baby. So I definitely got to plant some of these sugar babies. Now, if I go to this nursery, y'all, and the nursery have the carrots, I'm going to definitely get some carrots from them today. But um, I'm going to still see if I can grow my own, too, as well. Because, like I said, last year I didn't uh, have luck. But this year, I, I want to see if I can do it. Outside animals, yes, outside animals. I don't want nothing in my yard but me. I hate animals and bugs. Me too, Tay. I don't want to see none of that stuff either. But as you see, the rabbits, they think that they, you know, they pay rent here, I guess. They probably said we was here before you thought about coming. I don't know. The rabbits been here. These people don't mind. They got the rabbits, the squirrels. They got We got everything out here, y'all. The rabbits, the squirrels, just everything. I got to make enough watermelon because I promised the gentleman last year that i would give him watermelon and i did not take it over there so this year i'm gonna definitely take him his watermelon already planted the plant is gonna be up and i'm gonna take it to him because he got yard for days that's the guy i got to get the container from he got yard over there you hear me big old yard 
So, I go over there and take him his watermelon. So, this is my sugar baby. Oh, that's the wrong pack. I already done labeled the pack. And I will just leave these out here until next Sunday when we come back. And then don't forget to send me some of y'all pictures for next week so that we can um, see what your stuff look like if you're germinating, okay? Every summer, I would look forward to visiting my granny because she had a friend who grew watermelons. And every summer, we got to go pick our watermelon. Oh, <laughs> that's so sweet. That is so sweet. Don't you just love your childhood memories? I know I do. I thought I had three types of watermelons. How come I only got two watermelon seeds? I thought I bought another watermelon seed. Y'all got so many seeds. This is Congo. Oh, this is the one from last year. Hey, I thought I had more watermelon seeds, y'all. I didn't do good with lettuce last year either, y'all. I tried to plant my own lettuce. It didn't do good. Sugar baby. Let's just plant it down. Okay, Crimson sweet. I told you. I knew I had one more watermelon. I had to give away watermelon last year. Oh, good. So you good with the watermelon then? What kind of greens, PN2 Ross? Okay, I know you fucking line. Give us some watermelon tips. I mean, I grew watermelon last year. But like I said, when I that's the reason why I want to use the black stuff this year because I wanted to cut them back and I had weeds and I was scared to cut and I didn't know what to cut. So this year, I'm just going to make sure that I can avoid some of those weeds so I can really prune my stuff. I don't feel like last year I could really prune back because I had I had too many weeds. I ain't gonna lie. I had I had weeds and I didn't appreciate it. So this year I'm I'm gonna make sure I don't got that problem. We're not gonna have no weed problem this year. This year I'm gonna be able to get to my stuff. Okay. Uh oh. Somebody. My neighbor about to mow her lawn or her boyfriend wanted to. All right, so we got some watermelon planted, y'all, for next week. We got some carrots and we got some pickling cucumbers. And that's what we will be revealing next week to see how they germinated, to see how they did. And um, I'm going to be planting my other stuff, and I will <clears throat> I will record it and make a video, maybe. But I got to still mix up some dirt, and it's, it's way more to it. than um, uh, romaine is easy to grow. I use the stalk after I make my salad. I didn't do good with it last week, and I got some romaine here. But it was it's the seeds. And I, I tried it last year, and it didn't come up. Once I started seeing the flower, I moved it over to the bed I had, but it just didn't do anything. It didn't, it didn't come up for me. Maybe, I don't know, maybe it needs to be in the ground. I have been in the kitchen meal prepping. I'm picking up some more items to start my garden this week. Yes, yes. And yes for the meal prep. Collards and turnips, I love them. I can eat them every day. Oh, I cannot wait to start eating my collards, baby. I cannot wait. I got 12 collard plants back there. And I'll just have a whole... Oh, I can't wait to start eating them collards. Mm, mm, mm. Oh, I had weeds. I have to do better this year. Yeah, girl. Get you some of this right here, this weed burial. Get some weed burial. Nobody need to be... We don't need to be fighting those weeds. We trying to make this work smarter, not harder. Get you some weed burial. Mm-hmm. Yeah, nobody don't want to deal with them weeds. I know I don't anyway. I am growing collards also. Don't forget to get the seeds. Once they bolt at the end of the season, you all have a blessed week. 
Thank you so much for stopping in. You got to give me some tips on them collars too. Okay. I germinated a cabbage, sweet baby watermelon, and strawberries yesterday. Yes. Now, don't you be discouraged with them strawberries because it takes years for that stuff to really start to grow. So you might get one or two the first year, but they might not even be edible. But don't worry. Just keep it. You And you know you got to, it'll keep coming back. Wherever you're going to plant that at, that thing will keep coming back. So I know I got one out there that might think it's going to come back this year, but I'm getting ready to, it ain't going to come back because I'm going to cover that whole ground up. Well, where y'all saw the brown, that dirt at, that's going to be all black. That's going to all weed bury. I got like four or five of these things. I can't wait till y'all get to see it. I'm going to video it. Uh, of course, me and my son will be out there doing it. So I'll video it and um, I'll make a, a smaller video so that y'all can see what I did. That's why I have to be out in the garden every day this year. Yep. Well, you could be out there every day or you could just put the, some of that damn weed buried down and save yourself some time. Yes, that's what I'm saying. I have, I saw this other guy, this other family, I mean, that, that, that has a channel. I'm going to see if I can reach out to them if they'll do come and talk to us about greens because they specialize in them collards. And this is going to be my first year with collards. And that would be nice if they could just come over and talk to us. You never know. So I'll ask them. I'll ask them. But, you know, it just depends because everybody ain't, you know. Hey, Sunshine Race, how are you? Happy, happy Sunday. So, y'all, that's it for it. Do you use a light on some of your vegetables? Um, you can use a grow light. I have I have a grow light, but I'm not using it right now. I did use it last year, though. But I have this sunroom. So, these plants get sun so many hours out of the day. They don't really need a grow light. I just put them right around the windows in the sunroom. So, they get their natural light. And then I put them outside. Like I'm when I get off here with y'all, well, first I'm going down to the nursery and see if they got the carrots and stuff. But when I come back, I'll put them outside, I'll water them, I'll leave them out there while I'm working, and then I'll bring them back in. So they go out, they get watered outside. So they're getting plenty of light. And it's not, you know, even if we get a frost or a freeze freeze over one night, it's not gonna freeze in here, but it'll be cold in here. But it'll be, you know, they be able to take it. As long as the frost don't hit them, they'll be okay. Um, let me see if I can find it real fast because I liked it. I gotta go to my I mean I subscribe to it. I be trying to subscribe, child, to all the people that I be seeing because okay. Mm. Hold on, let me see. How do I find my subscriptions on a phone, child? Is this him? Yes. Free Haven Farms. Look at these collars. These greens coming in right now. These Let me just said hold on. Free Haven Farms. Let me look them up. Baby, they grow them collars they over there, okay? Right now in the fall time. To maintain them through these months, what you're going to want to do is keep them covered up. Put the bugs off of them. Do what you got to do to do that. You want to harvest them regularly. If you have any bad leaves like these right here, take them off, get them in the compost pile, and weed them. Keep all the weeds off of them. Can See, he's talking about getting them weeds out of there. He got this little short one minute and 30 second video. I'm going to show that real quick. With my sage right here. Now, we love sage. Planted this like five years ago. It just keeps coming back. You do that. You want. 
Hey, bless up, y'all. Hey, the guy right here, Makai, the pharmacist. You see these greens coming in right now, these collard greens. But everybody says after the first cross, these collard greens get a little bit free haven farms. Then you got to take care of them right now in the fall time. To maintain them through these months, what you're going to want to do is keep them covered up. Keep the bugs off of them. Do what you got to do to do that. You want to harvest them regularly. If you have any bad leaves like these right here, take them off. Get them in the compost pile and weed them. Keep all the weeds off of them. And companion plant with them. It's good to companion plant with any of your greens. Right here with my collard greens, I got them companion closely with my sage right here. And now, we love sage. Planted this like five years ago. It just keeps coming back. Love this smell, but the bugs hate this smell. So they stay away from my collard greens when I plant them next to yeah, I heard that. And then the sage is really good for you. You got a headache, sage tea. Knock it out. Look it up. See all the good stuff that sage is for you. See all the good stuff about collard greens and why it's good for you. It's a lot of calcium in here. Good for your bone. Check it out, man. But get with us here at Freehaven Farms. We want to show you how to grow your own just like this in your backyard like we doing. In the Grow Your Own Garden Club, y'all get in there, and then if you want some of these greens, you can get it to a fresh box, all right? Click the link in the bio, stay booty, keep growing. Go all right. So, there you go. Now, I'm going to show y'all what I'm buying this year that I didn't buy last year. Designs and Decor says last year, I did slices. I didn't divide them enough. I did the same thing. So I don't know what, if you know what Designs of Decor is talking about, is you can slice a tomato and actually plant it and get a tomato tree and grow tomatoes off of that tomato. I did it last year, but all I got back was the plant. I didn't yield any tomatoes, but I did do it. And it, and it can work. I just did something wrong, okay? Good. Yeah, I'm glad you found him. Girl, what's that say? I'm going to the nursery today to get some lavender and some rosemary between 7th Avenue and gardening. They getting all my coins. Shall I'm going up there and I'm going to get me some, um, uh, I'm getting my cinnamon and my black peppercorn, but I'm also getting me some sage. And I'm going to put that sage near my uh, collars and my kale. Yes, I am. But let me show y'all what I'm going to be using anyway. So I don't know if I'm going to need all that, but I still will get it just to try to deter the bugs. But I'm getting this. Let me see. Yes. Had to pull it up first. So I'm gonna be using these this year. Now I will tell you an easier way, but I don't know how they work in the ground. These things work in the ground, but I'll tell you last year what I used, and I built my own. I made these last year. These these tunnels right here, and I put them over my little beds that I had next to the house. But um, last year I used the hula hoops from the dollar store. I used the hula hoops from the dollar store. I cut the hula hoop and I took it. Oh, it's still out there too, but y'all can't see it. Let me take a picture of it. It's on the other side. Hold on. Yanni. <sighs> Now, these hula hoops have worked for me last year for, for the purpose that I used them for. But I don't know how they were working the ground. And that's the only reason why um, that's the only reason why I'm not going to try to uh, use them in the ground. Now, if they weren't in the ground, I would definitely use them. I mean, if I thought they could go, the hula hoops could go on the ground, I would definitely use them. But as you're going to see, I use hula hoops just in a flower bed that I, I built. I built two flower beds last year just out of some wood that we had laying around, and I utilized it. Well, I had to go buy uh, the bottom pieces, but 
we had some just some my husband had some wood laying around and i just built two flower beds last year and um that's where i had used the hula hoops at and you can see it's still two of them out there but i had pulled the rest of it, it was it was way more out there okay and and i covered them with the deer net so that the rabbits and the squirrels or nothing could get in there now this year this is going to be my pepper and my watermelons so i'm going to put my peppers in those flower beds up there those two flower beds and my watermelon will go you can't see but it's um i should have took a whole little thing right where i, I that's my walking space where that you see the black stuff came up because i hadn't put it down right um but on the other side is pallets and i'm going to put my watermelons over there because my watermelons are going to grow in containers i'm not putting them in the ground this year because i'm not going to put them inside that garden over there i probably could put them in the ground up here but i'm just going to put them um that's mr t talk i don't know where he's going at but um i guess he got some stuff to do outside y'all um i'm glad you're learning nikki I'm glad you're learning. We all need to learn to grow our own food. If we can, if you got space, if you got sun, listen, we can do this. Good morning, Sunny Delight. We can definitely grow some food. Okay? We can definitely grow some food. But anyway, y'all, I'm going to get off of here because I'm going to run down here to this nursery. And I'm going to see what they got. I hope they got some carrots. I got, some, I got my collards that I was looking for this morning. So I'm happy about that. But I'm going to get me some sage, okay? I'm getting me some sage because I'm going to be ready. All right? So remember, sage will help with your greens. It'll keep the bugs away from your greens. But if it'll keep the bugs away from your greens, it'll keep the bugs away from just about everything. So I, if you didn't have that on your list, I would add that to my list. I would add some sage to my list. All right? Thank you, Deborah Jones. <laughs> I agree, Nikki News. If I don't plant this year, I will try next year for sure, but definitely going to try the sage in a pot, the lavender in a pot, and the meat in the pot. Baby steps. Yes, baby steps. Of course. Now, last year, I just I didn't take no baby steps. I just busted out because I always wanted a garden. So I was like, I'm doing it. I got the land. I got the wheel. I can do it. I can get up. I can do this. So I, I did it. And yes, I want more people to do it. And if you wait till next year, that's fine. But I want people to see what it's like to grow your own food, eat your own food, save money, okay? Save money. Because if you like me, and baby, I love me some summer squash, you know how much money I save on that stuff growing it? Don't play. And then the potatoes and stuff, shoot, you save a lot of money. You know one potato yield a, a whole pound. A, can yield a whole pound of potatoes. Not a pound, but like a bag. Like 18 potatoes. One potato can yield 18 potatoes. Okay? Can yield 18 potatoes. You imagine that? You go to the store, you buy one potato, and you get 18 back. Because you took the time to put it in the ground. These little teeny seeds, you buy a pack of seeds of carrots, and you put it in the ground. And you get all these carrots back for yourself to eat. Imagine that. You ain't got to go to the store and pay, for, pay their mess. You paid a dollar and you got three, maybe three bags of carrots. That stuff can be frozen. Y'all know that. You can freeze carrots. You can freeze your stream beans. Everything that we are putting in the ground, you can preserve for yourself for later. So you're saving money. And for me, it's it's kind of rewarding putting the food in the ground and, and, and watching it come back up. For me, that's just rewarding. I love it. She says, running out to get my lavender, mint, and rosemary, plus some cinnamon and peppercorn. Anti-rabbits, anti-squirrels. That's right. If they get sick, baby, that's on them, Alphamat. Ain't nobody told them come in your yard, try to eat near your garden. That's your garden, right? Mm. Yes. P and 2 Raw says, I definitely need to grow greens the way I eat them. Yep, then you definitely should be growing them if you eat them like that. And you know those can be frozen too. Okay? Shoot. Grow your own food, honey, if you can do it. That's the way. Yep, but I'm going to go to the Dollar General, too. Let me add that to my list because I'm going to look for that pool. So I got a busy day out here today. But thank y'all for being here. 
Uh, I hope this was helpful to those who want to start a garden and helpful to those who are thinking about starting a garden, okay? And for the ones who've already started with me, I'm very proud of you. If you germinate seeds today, remember Sunday, we're going to open up seeds. You can take your pictures and you can share them. Even if you have some garden photos that you want to share, just, just make sure you send them to me so we can get them out, okay? All right. Now, everybody have a great day. And thank you guys for coming and supporting the channel as we talk about garden. Because, you know, people like mass honey. So we're going to talk about this is good stuff. We want to grow some food. So thank y'all 135 people for being here. OK. All right. I appreciated y'all today. I really enjoyed this garden. Seems very relaxing. It really is the network specialist. It really is. I'm telling you, wait till we get into the good part. Wait till the, 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 the suns open up and they say, you can go outside now. Wait till we get there, network specialist. That's going to be the good time when we can really be outside and y'all can really see from week to week how the food is going to flourish outside. Y'all saw last year my crop I used to get. Man, let me tell you, we ain't got nothing but great stuff coming, okay? So y'all have a good day and I will see y'all in the morning. Okay. All right. And to my uh, mods, thank y'all so much for holding it down in here. I appreciate y'all. Hey, G squad 68. How you doing today? Yep. I appreciate y'all. So listen, y'all who want to grow, keep showing up. Y'all who's thinking about it, keep showing up. Eventually you may too grow you some food okay all right y'all i'm out of here y'all have a fantastic rest of your day maybe you know all the places 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 just faces no one knows my places like you Places like I do Make yourself at home, get to know mine on the inside. Can meet a